Yeah, this is going to be just a short weekend. Uh, sorry, uh, this is just going to be a short weekend. About, uh, <clears throat> this is just going to be a short video on why exactly. Uh, well, when it comes to the Croatian state, Croatia, Croatia, I already have spoken about a whole a lot. Uh, it's hardly anyone could possibly beat the level of the crime when it comes to Croatia against me. Uh, unfortunately, a disgusting neighbor that simply cause uh, truly, truly enjoyed, took enormous pride in causing harm, psychiatric harm, uh, fully have supported Milan Kuchan and it was not only about the Milan Kuchan, for instance, we also have a politician here by the name, let's say, Yelko Katsin, who greatly, greatly contributed to extermination procedure against me. And this is supposed to be opposition from Milan Kuchan. And now, the fact was surprising about just how exactly this individual, and then you have also Loise Petrle, You have this guy here, if you have this individual here, and you have this guy here. You have uh, the so-called Slovenian independence movement people. How did these people exactly end up contributing so much to genocide? Why were they so crucial for Milan Kuchan to keep the upper hand on uh, Slovenian independence uh, doing basically its best to destroy the country from within and outside. More within from the outside, you know. Uh, this individual, for instance, here, he oh, he had a he, he became he became famous about having a vacant a house in Croatia. I'm using him because he was a prime example of like super crime against me, you know. Uh, he literally used me to get the property. He literally used me to get loans, to get the money, to get uh, to li to literally set for himself a luxury over there uh, in Croatia, in Croatian state. But uh, this crime really goes. This is a prime example of how not to be a human swine in really what defines human being from swine and swine from human beings. Uh, this case, the case I'm talking about, rests entirely on the hands of the Croats, whom, as you know, I have assisted. It's According to the words of the foreign diplomats from the US, from the Germany, from countries that participated in the Balkan Wars, Serbia launched war against four other countries, former Yugoslavia states, uh, of which one was Croatia, and they could not understand it for everything I have done and stood up for when it comes to Croatia. They just couldn't understand why was this so much hatred against me. What, what was it this shit all about? And really, um, it's more about understanding the Croatian character, basically the Croatian DNA, basically what exactly these people are made out of. I did dedicated, devoid, de devoted them several videos about which clearly depicts they are addicted to the psychiatric violence. They are addicted to the, uh, to the ethnic cleansing through the use of psychiatric violence. That's a Croatia. That's what really defines Croatia, you want to know? They enjoy psychiatric violence. They enjoy torture. Nobody enjoyed more torture than a Croats when it came to psychiatry. They were simply obsessed with a power of causing pain, suffering, washing somebody incapable to defend himself while tortured and basically washing to carry on pain, suffering in real time without having any ability to get job, anything. Basically enjoy watching individual fall apart 
completely decayed, so being destroyed, basically. Sick people, simple explanation, is a mental illness. Uh, in as the war in Croatia commenced, uh, it was more and more trouble I got myself into. Croats played extremely dirty, filthy on every step of the way. They always found the way to cut in front of me. And uh, I'm not going to say make me feel get guilty, but literally betrayed me knowing that I would know and understand that without me, still they're not going to make it. Without me, Croatia would not even exist probably on the map. The foreign diplomats will confirm that Operation Storm, which was used to liberate much of the Croatia, was greatly had to do with me. Croatia was already crossed out by the elites. They didn't have any kind of intention really to defend Croatia. It would be much easier, more convenient for them also to remain in good relations with the Soviet Union, with the Russia, to just let it go, but did not. Simply not because of what we see today is a case with the Milanovic. Milanovic is a great problem sending people to Ukraine people. He is very, very anti-Ukrainian. Uh, he is seeking just about any opportunity, anything he possibly could use to excuse himself from performing his job as a Croatian president. He is just uh, simply in it for a smooth ride and for some other shady stuff I am talking about on my website. Uh, this is a prime example of why I managed to crush the Soviet Union and basically by using him to demonstrate exactly something I could possibly not see myself in Milanovic in absolutely any way. And so he's a prime example of, of corruption, of criminality, basically organized crime. If it will be a prime example, that definitely would be Milanovic. In, 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 in 1998, in 1998, uh, the words of Croatian politicians such as of uh, Kolinda Grabar, Gitarovic, these are very popular politicians, his, you know, Kolinda Grabar, Gitarovic, and this, 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 when it comes to the politicians of Croatia, this is the best of Croatia, basically. Really, this is a Croat that will stand up for the crop, hopefully, who the fuck knows. But, yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to use him... This is a prime minister who was appointed to be a head of Croatia by none other than Franjo Tuđman. There you go. And I'm going to use him to scroll myself down, hopefully through all these faces here that you're going to see. Let me see if it's going to show all this. And I guarantee you that whoever was in the government, in 1998 Croatian government, you all started to talk about how now is the first time real time a big chance that i have that's going to happen is that i might actually escape the procedure known the so-called mk ultra procedure the first chance the first time that i have a real chance and so it looked like that croatia is going to come out and announce that's what they claimed that's what they claimed i would not want to use promise because i'm gonna say fuck you yeah, <laughs> the one who depends on the Croatian promises, words and stuff like this, is ticked in the head. You gotta be fucking sick in your head for you to land on on the Croatian word with the Croat give you word. That's what shit. That's one thing I'm gonna say to you. That's not worth a fucking shit. You know. They started to give the promises and. 
you know, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, it's going to be, and then it's going to be, then in between in all this, and it started earlier, this kind of game between Milan Kuchan and between this wicked Croats, uh, they started this stuff in like 96 with this stuff, with Milan Kuchan started to claim that he's afraid of Croatia. And the Croats started to that, you know, it was nothing like for two years in, from 96. It was nothing. It was nothing. They started with this stuff earlier. But in 96, Milan Kuchan started with the Robert Golob. 95, 95, the, the Robert Golob and Milan Kuchan started talking about that they are afraid. Unless it will be Croatia. We don't have nothing to fear from unless it would be Croatia. This was the words of Milan Kuchan, a man who became a first Slovenian president. Robert Golop was not even a politician back then yet. You know, now he's a prime minister. And so, uh, this, the two started to instigate that they have nothing to fear unless it would be Croatia in that sense. And so they keep the whole situation like the two are enemies, like the two are f not friends, like they are enemies. The same shit like they utilize with the British royals. And so as the time passed by, in year 98, in 98, the Croats guaranteed, uh, actually guaranteed, in a sense like it could be, you know, it could be the first, first one, you know, as soon as Croatia free we announce this mk ultra case close you have life you will have life and this and that um so much more disgusting you know it can be more disgusting than stuff that i described to you and you know you even hear the words and somebody's saying uh, you could have life you know and and you could have life you know is that fucking bad when you hear the words like this? This yet yeah, these are exactly the words, exactly the right description I'm giving you about the procedure. This sadistic, most criminal, torturous, bestial murder, basically. It's incredible. I lost 53 years of my life on it. That started in 98 with the Croats. Uh, as soon as the Croatia became independent, Croatia brought on the picture a different, together with the Milan Kuchan, they brought on a picture a totally different issue. And the issue involved the owners of the houses in Croatia, which are Slovenians. And, well, they say here it's 125,000 of them from Slovenia that own the real estate properties in, in, uh, in Croatia. That's what they say. It's 115,000 owners, Slovenians, Slovenes who own properties in Croatia. They go there for vacation. And then you have a good number of, of Slovenian people who don't own uh, properties in Croatia. And they go just to throw the money away. As I suggested in a previous video, right, that's all in Slovenian language. In Slovenia, it's not a problem. Really, the money. Uh, this is not what not the problem is. Uh, in Slovenia, we have too much money. The problem is the the main problem in Slovenia. It's the country is too fucking wealthy. It's too much money here. It's not the lack of the money or anything like this. It's too much money. The money is abundant here. This country is too fucking wealthy, and this is real biggest problem. One single problem in Slovenia that we have. And those who have that money, they want more money, and in a way, they wouldn't nothing they wouldn't do for that money even maybe worse and definitely is worse is a croatian state next door so boy these are fucking beasts you know i'm finally answering this politicians around the world that were asking so why is the cross is so evil why why is it they're so fucking evil they're more than fucking evil they're more evil than evil it gets worse actually and so the Milan Kuchan started to in front of me pose with the Croatian politicians on he really wanted to kill the hope. You know, they say there is a saying they say the hope dies last. And Milan Kuchan went right after my hope. The thing is, I already knew I was veteran in this stuff. For me, it all started when I was three months old. I knew about what a Croat is. Too, all too good. 
about all, all everyone involved in it so you know with the croatian promises and stuff like this you know <laughs> um robert golob really really enjoyed hurting emotionally he really was specialized in a psychological abuse torture and that's what the with the milan kuchan and with the croats they wanted to do you know they they want they would create like expectation and then they wanted to go and crash that expectation as much as possible so they came out and milan kuchan was like a tsar he was like a tsar that departed with me go low up go low bitch to croatia and started to negotiate with this top croats in in uh, in 2000 it was the final blow he delivered to me that's at least what he thought because all he wanted to do is crash me psychologically you know he tried and tried and tried he tried so hard you know uh eventually threw me into psychiatric hospital in 2012 and greatly had to do with the croatian state croats helped slovenian side to destroy me on international level and you know injure me absolutely in every fucking way uh difficult to explain when it's somebody that you actually defended just like it would be your family your parents call me crazy call me insane call me naive if you like but i had to uh i knew that politicians play dirty and so on but this shit proves more than about the politicians it goes into the heads of the people <laughs> it's it's used to prove there is a severe mental illness in these people because they talk about the uh psycho stalinism they talk about the stalin and the psychiatric stuff and stuff like they use all kinds of expressions and point in other direction you know but in reality you know people that do the stuff like this and blaming somebody else while doing the stuff like this they are very very uh, they have a lot of um, skis and mushgane i don't know how you would say that but with a lot of cider in the brain a lot of cider cider brain i don't know how you would say that it doesn't get more disgusting than this yeah this, this is a croatian example this is a prime example i'm using to describe the croatian mind their dna their brain um so he started to instigate that there will be nothing out of the deal for me for freedom with golop i had it with me over there to croatia and then they started to play me down and then it took Croats very long time, year, maybe even two years before they, they told me uh, we can we can do nothing about because in a Croatia that is so that answer surfaced out sometimes like in two thousand two. Two years it took them to give me to deliver it to Croats, deliver me the answer that they just couldn't do, that they tried, but that they couldn't do anything about it because of so many vacants that Slovenian people have in in a in a croatia and hurting milan kuchan could really really hurt their economy but what they will do instead is that they will stay on my side and they will work from behind to help me out but that's impossible and a total waste of time for me to say how many times a really really bestial torture since still took place in croatia along the coast in their capital zagreb rieka you fucking name it whatever they would deliver me more than in a psychiatric hospitals how they didn't deliver me but always was about a most severe torture cardiovascular exhaustion and then imitation of the schizophrenia that's basically when you're loaded with the drugs and you have no purpose other than dwell in some fucking place talking to yourself after you were severely traumatized and you are traumatized here and there with some people that come in your face, give you death threats, all kinds of stuff. And then afterwards, they release you out also on the beach where they post with you. It's like you connect somebody on a TV. You just come to senses. They do their video, something. They do some laughing and stuff like this. And back you are in the car and you go back to your fucking world, whatever the fuck you're coming from. Or they spend a good time inside of you driving you around and giving you a free piece of advice uh, on how to let's say survive uh, what to do so that you would survive and that of course includes 
keeping your mouth shut about what went on, goes on in Croatia, lying to you how they're going to vote for you. And, you know, that pretty much was the case with the Croats until exactly 2020. Nothing other than violence and peace, brothers. I am out. I have just explained to you uh, what type of people Croats are. Uh, how dangerous they are, what their intention, how they work, and in a case of the properties in Croatia that Slovenian people have, even their properties, the real estate properties were used for the Croatian state to took a strong stand in my face against me for the sake of Milan Kuchan. Uh, it is estimated about eight billion dollar worth of real estate is what Slovenian people own in Croatian state along the Adriatic shoreline. Thank you very much for watching this video. Till next time. That is just in a Slovenian language and I hope that this also will maybe even clear some misunderstanding of the video in Slovenian. So this is a very very detailed procedure, the sadism of Milan Kuchan, Robert Golov, the type of stuff that two are using, the type of psychology, abuse uh, with intention to kill. Imagine, I am almost 53 years old in describing the people that worked for 53 years to get me killed.